48 hour deal that the speaker um, mentioned this mm -hmm. weekend that she's giving Mnuchin and the White House 48 hours to come to an agreement with her on the next aid package. Are you hopeful that there will be an agreement by the end of today? And are there any signs that this is different than any of the other uh, negotiation deals over the stimulus? Well, I, I talked to the speaker this morning, uh, Rhonda, and uh, she is optimistic. Uh, I won't say hopeful, but she's optimistic that they can get to an agreement. I think Mnuchin and Pelosi are relatively close. I think the, the, the real problem is uh, the White House and the U.S. Senate Republicans are very, very far apart. And when I say that, they're $1.3 trillion apart. I understand uh, that uh, Senator McConnell is first of all gonna offer a single bill uh, today and then tomorrow, and then I may not have the sequencing correct, uh, a $500 billion bill. Now that's $1.3 trillion less than Secretary Mnuchin and the White House are talking about. So it's clear that the Republicans uh, don't have agreement among themselves, which makes it very difficult to get an agreement um, with us. The most difficult thing is uh, Senator McConnell has not come forward with a any kind of reasonable compromise close to what the White House and uh, the Speaker are talking about, or Mnuchin and the Speaker are talking about. For people who may not know, what is the last sticking point? Or I'm sure there are a couple. Uh, state and locals is a definite sticking point for whatever reasons. Uh, Trump and McConnell want to let the states and local governments be on their own, not give them any help. Yet they are carrying the major burden in our uh, communities, uh, particularly they hire the teachers, they hire the police, they hire the fire uh, and, and emergency medical response teams, they sanitation workers. These are people who are critical uh, to operating our society in a safe way. And unfortunately, uh, the White House and the, the uh, Senate doesn't want to give them any help. Now, my Republican governor in the state of Maryland, uh, Governor Hogan, has asked uh, a long time ago, uh, early this year, saying the states, in league with uh, Governor Cuomo of New York, Republican and Democrats, urging the House and Senate and the president to adopt substantial assistance to the states because they're struggling uh, with a hemorrhaging of revenues and the inability to do the services that are necessary to keep our uh, our community say. Do you think that if this doesn't pass before election day, because we're now just days away, do you think that this could be picked up in a lame duck session or will it lose steam? I've told my members COVID-19 relief and response will be the major issue uh, in, a, in the lame duck session, along with passing an omnibus to fund government and keep government open, uh, at this, at, particularly at this time of uh, the COVID crisis. Uh, so that the answer to your question is an, an absolute yes. Not only are we going to deal with it, but we will deal with it so we make retroactive uh, payments to people to try to get them out of the hole that we've left them in since uh, we passed uh, in July uh, that compromise agreement, bringing our request down 35%. That's a pretty big uh, uh, concession uh, on our part in terms of dollars. And now, uh, you know, we, we were at 2.2. The Senate still has not passed a piece of legislation uh, that we can negotiate on. It's very nice to have the White House come with a figure, the 1.8 trillion sounds good, but they don't have any idea that the Senate uh, Republicans will agree to such a figure. I absolutely believe that Speaker Pelosi and uh, Mnuchin, uh, Secretary Mnuchin, want to get to an agreement. The proof of that is they have reached agreement in four separate COVID-19 bills from March uh, to April. So there's no doubt that uh, they wanted to get to agreement, they got to agreement, and those four bills were overwhelmingly passed by Republicans and Democrats.